So some users are asking how they can set up a form that just has one uh, membership level instead of all three using Gravity Press. So we're going to just do a quick example. Normally, um, in the previous videos, we've covered how to set up um, a drop-down like this, whether that be a regular drop-down or a product drop-down. And uh, we'll take the product one, for instance, if you're selling these. Um, normally we would go through and grab the levels from the bottom here, insert them, and then put a price for each. So again, this is, this is the normal route, but let's say you have a, a situation where you want to only um, add a user to one level and not give them an option of any other levels. And so it's very easy. We're not going to actually, um, some people have asked if you use the single product, we're not going to do that. We're actually going to keep it as a drop down or a radio button. You can use either one. For now, I'll just use drop down and just choose the level that you want to make the uh, the sole level for that form. So I'll just let's say we'll just make it gold. And then um, whether you do drop down or whether you do radio button, it's always a good idea just to check the default box. This means that no matter what, um, when the when the user submits that form, this will be uh, enabled by default, even if it's um, even if they don't actually select it by hand manually. And we'll just say choose level up here. So we'll just go through, update that, and take a look at it. So here it is, and again, choose level is the one we did. Just for confusion, confusion's sake, I'll remove this other one, which was another example that we, I'll, I'll remove all the other ones. This is a product, okay, great, yeah. Okay, so now we just have one field that has the levels, and you can see there's only one level. So that's it. I mean, uh, when they fill out this form and submit it, they'll be added to that level because there's just one. Now, a couple things. If you want to use a radio, again, you can do the same thing for that. It's not much different, just different in the way it looks. So we can see that. Now, again, make sure that this is set to default um, because if this was not selected, then there's a way they could actually, um, uh, there's a way that they could select it or not select it. So if I did that, so when this is not selected as default, you can see that they could get away with just submitting the form without that. And the reason I say that, and this is so important to make sure that this is selected by default, is that many people like to hide this because there's really no point sort of um, redundant to actually keep it on there. If there's only one level to choose from in the form, the whole point of the form is to add them to that level. What's the point of actually showing this? So you can actually go in and just make this a hidden field. But the problem with doing that is if, if this wasn't selected as default in the back end, then it's not going to show up and they won't even be able to, um, to choose it on the way out. So again, we're going to make sure this is defaulted. And then we'll just submit it here. And now let's check. And we can see that um, indeed that level was chosen. And if I go to transactions here under member press, you can see that it already uh, it created a transaction for that as well. So they were added to that level. So that's the, the gist of it um, on how to create a form that only adds uh, a, a member to one specific level without uh, having to include all options on there. As always, let us know if you have any questions or concerns using our contact form.